Hey, Sanji, baby, what's the deal? Hope you're having a good day, or you had a good day, or you will, right? But uh, the overall energy is regret, okay? And But for you, I feel like the overall energy is that you're waiting on something to come in because your struggles are over, okay? Your struggle is over. You've done your job, teamwork. You probably even do a damn good job at work. Or you're working with some people with sense. Some people that's about working and then playing later. Some people that have a life outside the job or things that they want to keep. They're not there to bullshit or risk it. So, when I say we have someone in regret, right? Not only are they in regret, they didn't want to take what spirit wanted to give them. We dealing with a, a man and a woman. Or uh, This could be your mother. This could be a mother figure. This could be your person's mother or a grandmother or someone in their feminine energy. This could be a man thinking that, you know, um, they like a doormat. They're in regret. This is a woman that has bad spirituality, a people pleaser, an enabler. Okay. A person that looks for approval from people. A person that's emotionally unbalanced. Yeah. With this Eight of Cups, it's kind of like this person thought by. Giving this person money or teaming up against you because they was defeated, that things were going to change. This person was going to love them more. This could be even this person's mother. They thought things were going to go back to how shit was. They, they were searching for some kind of truth validation. Or if this even your mother, you could have had a mother that fucked over you or was playing with you or thought you was to ask state jokes or didn't put they all in as a mother and just thought that shit was going to be right without them putting in the work of fixing it, telling you they apologize or uh, giving you a reason why they did a lot of dumb, unnecessary shit by you. So this person with this... Queen of Cups is kind of like, um, they could have also recognized that whatever security, whatever ground that they were on, that they were sure that they had, they're going to have to leave it behind if they want to live a better life. This could even be your person. But I think this is this person in this Queen of Cups. Yeah, they want to rebirth something. And they're in regret. We got about here a miracle. That you probably over the struggle. Soul time. And we have activated prosperity, honey. Also with this eight of cups, someone is needs to balance their feelings. This could be even your person in regret. But this person is in regret because like I said, they thought that shit was just going to go back to normal or this person was going to love them more. Yeah, this person that you were dealing with or whoever this energy is didn't have very good planning. Now they have an anxiety. Because they've been defeated. So, if this person wants you to be a side dude or a chick, right? It's kind of like this person thought that you would chase them. But this person got with this Queen of Cups. Because even this Queen of Cups had anxiety that felt going sideways. And they feel overwhelmed. Because it's kind of like they have the a lot of people looking at them like they're stupid. But at the end of the day... And if this is a woman, like motherly figure, this can be a woman that purposely put out that she don't give a fuck about her kids, don't give a fuck about what she say or who she said to, or a coward that 
talk shit to the wrong people and the people that they should have talked shit to, they ran from like a coward or joined in. So with this Queen of Cups your person probably went to, if this is the case, they picked someone that was perfect to be a doormat. But most importantly, they picked someone that was perfect, which would be a perfect supply for this person to want to just come in and out of people's lives. And that's what this person did. They had problems with their spirituality. They wasn't, they didn't think to make themselves happy. They was too busy trying to make this person happy. And they didn't probably even realize that they was handicapping this person. They probably didn't even realize or consciously didn't see that they was, they're catching karma huh? because they allowed this person, if this is their mother, to come home and do other women and men wrong and just come back and act like nothing happened. Or they always had them as a backup. So yeah, your person, these people are defeated. Even if this is a mother figure. This mother figure probably thought she was going to come back to them. This, uh, your mother or his mother. But nobody wants shit to do with them. So yeah, they tried to balance their feelings. By fucking with you. Got defeated. With whoever they tried to team up with. Ain't that a bitch. Now your person over there having anxiety. Cause they was defeated. You're not gonna chase them. You got better. They probably see that you've been a strong ass person. You was quick to catch on. You probably were just letting this person come in and out because you didn't know the games they were playing. You didn't know this person was jealous of you. Maybe they really showed their asses the last time. You just got tired of it. It wasn't going anywhere. We're not getting any younger type of energy. Now let's go to see what these people are thinking. Yes, honey, if you want an energy read with me, you know what to do. Go in that uh, description box or the community board and hit, hit me up. Cash out me with your number so it go by fast for, for communication to set an appointment. Yes, anxiety, confirmation, regret. What situation in your life is creating fear and uh, anxiety? And what is it? This feeling trying to tell you something you need to release with this communication. This person needs to talk to you and tell you that they are sorry if this is your mother or your father. That they was not there for you, nor did they stand up for you. Because they was too jealous of you as well. Or this person you dealing with, they can't get it out their head. Because, you see, when you forgive people... And you keep letting them hurt you or come back in your life. They make excuses to think they deserve to be in your corner or at your table. Or they say you, you probably was okay with it. Or it wasn't that bad. Well, you ain't fucking with them. And for some of y'all, y'all repeatedly dumped this person and they still wasn't getting it. They just came back with the same shit. So now this person has no choice but to face it. Face the shit they did. There is no excuses. You don't want to take accountability where you don't have a choice but to because your life is falling apart. Yes. What situation in your life do you need logic to be logical about? You don't need to be logical about shit. Yes, honey, you don't you don't give a damn about or uh, are you prepared to receive the truth regarding the important message, an important matter. It's not important to you. Of course it's important to them. They life is crumbling. They see that they're doomed. They had a dead end road. When it comes to this doormat they picked over you. 
This person that will let them come in and out so they can go hurt people and then go hide out at their mama house. Hurt people and then go hide out at this doormat house. Sell dope. Go in and out of prison. Not take care of their kids. An enabler. A toxic ass impact. So your person could be that eight of cups where they know that if they don't change their situation and get out their security zone and stop doing the same dumb shit, they not going nowhere in life. You like money, but you still broke. Or who wants to be with someone that's only... Like, the only reason why this queen of cups is with your person or this mother figure is dealing with your person because they feel sorry for them. Who wants to be <laughs> taking care of someone or who wants to know that the only reason why you getting away with shit is because motherfuckers feel sorry for you? <sighs> yeah, tire moment. Important lesson learned. What needs to be broke down in your life in order to be rebuilt? Huh? Yeah. King of Swords in reverse. What situation in your life is calling you to have logic and clarity? To me, that's you. You balanced, boo. You're not saying shit. That's 12. Balance. Harmony. Twelve swords. What we got out here? Gemini communication with this Scorpio Taurus. Aquarius energy. Air energy. Got a lot of air energy. This could even be your sister. Putting an end to it, friend. Twenty-two, so it's now. Master, carry additional spirit powers. Good luck. That's what you're doing. Giving these people a tire moment. This could be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, or uh, what's the opposite? Aquarius, Leo. Libra, um, Libra, the opposite will be fire, right? So that's Libra, uh, what's that other fucker? <laughs> Aries, two bullies. The sign of selfishness, conceited, uh, Libra. What are you passionate about, uh, passionate and motivated about in life? See, you causing these people time moments because you're passionate and motivated. And you don't need clarity. You don't need no closure. You don't need to. Yeah, you forgive them, but you don't want to give them another chance. See how this man and woman is in reverse? This couple. This time moment is putting an end to their little happy life that they didn't have. They was hiding it. Remember, didn't want nobody to find out their dark secrets. Yes, you got to have an earth energy coming in, friend. Boss energy. What situation in your life requires slow movement and determination? This person could be trying to move slow with you. They might have people in their life that's unbalanced. That's what it fell under. All this Scorpio Earth energy is getting a tire moment. Scorpio Taurus. And now they trying to move with slow determination. Or oh, this could even be you and your boss energy. Remember you had a three of pentacles. Somebody could want you to cooperate. That's also Earth energy. 
yeah, relationship. Huh? What needs to be resolved and set right in your life. You need to go for what's passionate and what you're motivated about. Get in that earth. Excuse me, that boss energy. So you can have two people looking at you. A fire sign and an earth sign. That needs to resolve things in their life. Yes, honey. Let's look at the money. <laughs> yes. Sales in reverse. Uh, right decisions in reverse. Remember, they need to resolve things in their life or what they sell and how they presenting themselves. How they sell themselves. How they present themselves. Uh, no receipts. So these people could be telling you they doing this and doing that and they lying. They have not. They can't prove it. So whatever you selling, you making the right decision, and you got the receipts to prove yourself. Huh? You making sales, or you want to update your sales, or do some with sales? For some of y'all, let it resonate from home. Or you work from home. Or you could be. Yes. Denial in reverse. Deny in reverse. But not denial. I don't know why I said that. Denial. Ooh, maybe these people are in denial. But deadline. Yes, like I said, you could be wanting to update yourselves to get some kind of deadline going. Maybe you behind with it. Maybe you want to hurry it up and get what you want. You ready. Yeah, responsibilities in reverse with these people with receipts. What did I tell you? They cannot prove the shit they're talking. Or their responsibilities are in reverse. They worried about the wrong shit. Like being a goddamn doormat. Or they was worried about the shit, uh, wrong shit instead of being a good mother. Let that resonate, whoever mother this is. The asses are in regret. These people probably have responsibilities in reverse. Because remember those that couple I just showed you that came in reverse? So these people are probably not even worried about their responsibility. Training in reverse. You don't need no motherfucking training when it comes from working from home, from home and doing the sales. You just need to do it. Let that resonate. Let all this shit resonate. <laughs> Making the right choices. You got a deadline to make and you dress to impress. Probably even at work, you take care of your business. You try to your best to look clean, nice and neat. Or you should. So you have someone that's trying to sell, make right decisions with good receipts. Got a good background, or they doing good doing it. Someone working from home, they have a deadline to meet because their responsibilities were in reverse. Someone's in training, trying to dress to impress, and having good paydays. So, oh, this could be that king <laughs> of pinnacles, that earth sign. That make right decisions but have a deadline to meet or dress to impress or they take care of their shit or whoever they with. Responsibilities. Maybe they live in check to check. They're in training. Yeah, competition. Because you're growing. It's growth. You might even get a baby or you have a baby on the way. Or that's what you want. That resonate. Maybe they you have grandkids on the way. Hey. 
Congratulations if you do, boo. Go for the men too. You can be pregnant. Expecting the baby. That means you're giving birth. Let's see cosmic inside. Let's see what this bitch got regret about. These pets. Or maybe you need to give a love a pet more love, child. This stray cat. I have one stray cat. I don't know where it's at. The other stray cat came over here with a broken leg. Nobody's cats, both of them was white. But now when I don't when I don't feed her, sometimes she meows. For me to feed her. There look now. Cause I'm not the only one feeding her. She must not be hungry today because she didn't meow at me. And then when she come in my house, I tell her, get out. She take her time and she stops at the door. I say, you motherfucker. <laughs> get out of here. But it's cute. Open up your heart when it comes to this pet. If she was neutered and spayed, I would take her in. But she ain't about to be. She be getting all shaky when she on her hunt. I Google while she shaking her butt. Uh, marking shit. Can't have that in the house. You're not changing residence or partners. Neither is this person that's in anxiety. So this queen of king of pentacles, earth sign, queen of pentacles could be living with someone. They're not changing partners. Right. They have no receipts. They probably not even uh, really just single yet yeah, they in reverse but either way you're not a gold digger maybe someone saying you a gold digger or that you're not just gonna date no any goddamn body and men I don't know why you know it is normal for a man not to judge a woman by where she work or by how much money she have Cause she's not the provider, but it does tell you a lot about how she thinks. If you think you gonna date a broke ass woman, or you might want a woman cause you got the money, honey, but you're not recognizing that she's not gonna appreciate that you're a hard worker if she wasn't one. She's not gonna get how what it feels like or what you're going through to make shit happen, Captain. So it's really just the state of mind that these people in when they're broke, and that goes for a woman too. It's not about judging people. It's just to see. It's not about a lot of money. It's just the point of the process. Do they understand? The hard part. The saving money. The sacrifice. The getting that motherfucking dinner on the table type shit. Because <laughs> I would love. Well, I have dated some men that like to cook. Honey, honey. Yes, this person opened up their heart. You opened up your heart. Something in this, some new beginning. Yes. It's a cycle, honey. So this person that lived with someone or haven't changed residence could be opening up their heart and they look <laughs> child. They looking at a person as a pet. Well, I say pregnancy. Didn't I say that? So somebody could be living with someone. They haven't changed, but they could be thinking about pregnancy or they could be manifesting. See that heart? That's one heart, two, three. So somebody could be looking at you that's already dealing with somebody, boo. Yes. That's a yes in reverse. <laughs> You're not going to connect with that. You too good to be somebody's goddamn side chick or man. You're not going to deal with that. And then you don't want to be somebody's rebound. Dating someone straight out of a relationship so they can be stalking the motherfucker while they with you because they're not over them or missing them, especially if they was in a long-term relationship. You're not a backup plan, or you're not a rescue. Or this person probably just like you because they really have not spent time with you, really don't know you. 
And it can go both ways. It's a no. What did I say? It's a no. Okay. So, this person that could be looking at their person like they a pet child. <laughs> they probably not a gold digger either, but it's still not a yes. They're not connecting with each other. Ladybugs, they not getting lucky either. Ladybug connect with what they're doing. That's why they get lucky, honey. With the money. And uh, <laughs> it's still a no for them. I feel like open up your heart and karma. Yeah, that's a no for you. You don't want karma. You're not a home wrecker or you're not going to deal with someone that's already in a relationship or that just got out of one. And you sure don't want no hand-me-down ass private part. Your commitment in reverse. So, huh. If that resonate, fell under pregnancy and someone that's not moving away from their partner. Or they're manifesting. But their commitment is in reverse. Either way, it's a no. So you probably thought that this person wants to get with you because you they uh, you a go they, you thought they were a gold digger or they want you for a reason, you know, but they're not. Would have been nice, but it's not the right time. Let's uh roast their asses anyway. Or whoever this is that's in regret or getting anxiety or that's the talk of the town. Someone that did not plan very well about fucking over you. Let's just put it that way with that two or ones uh, batons in reverse. Yeah, someone that cannot stand up for themselves as a, at a Pacific, at a reasonable time. Could have been this woman, this doormat, this mother figure that probably didn't even give your dad or your people, you know, uncles and them or whatever you went through. Like your dad not being there for you, but they still in love with them. What the fuck? Who's standing up for you? Oh, you probably went through molestation. You probably went to mental or physical abuse and this bitch didn't do shit. But they talk a lot of shit. Oh, you probably had a mother y'all grew up poor and she was crying about how she had to do this and do that when all she had to do was get a fucking job or a better job. Simp. You're not a simp. You ain't doing shit for nobody that can't stand up for themselves at a significant time. Yeah, these people are not real proud community. What the fuck is up? You're not a simp. Somebody got you sadly fucking mistaken. Yeah, somebody talking shit. Or somebody think they know something, like they think they educated and they're not. They think they could talk shit to the wrong people and team up with the, uh, they think they could talk shit to good people and team up with bad people because they can't even stand up for their motherfucking self. So this is somebody that talks so much good shit that they need to let other people know. They need to start a podcast. They need to... You know, do that thing and let people write a book. You know what I'm saying? But this person can't even spin up, stand up for themselves. It's like, uh, if I can't beat them, why don't I join them? So this could be a real um, unnurturing ass woman that people probably not even surprised. That's probably why anxiety and overwhelming with all those stories. Whatever people are hearing about what they did, they not surprised. And this bitch wanted to be Billy Badass. And now that her trifling, see, it was okay, it was cute, or it was funny, or entertaining to talk shit. But now this bitch is being judged by her character and morals. That's why it's regret. And they can't hide it. They didn't even probably think that they was getting judged by their character and morals just by trying to be the one that knew how to talk shit. This don't have to even be a mother. This could be your sisters. This could be someone that was uh, 
worried more about being on dating apps. Worried more about uh, satisfying the man, stealing and doing dumb shit, but wasn't even putting up Christmas for the kids. Or a great Annie didn't uh, try to act like her house was the golden house, but this bitch wasn't really feeding her kids during the fucking year. They were scavenger hunting around that motherfucker to survive. This could be a shitty mother, period. Even if this a baby mama or daddy. Yeah, this bitch was shallow. Or maybe because you didn't kiss they ass or you seen they wasn't morally right. Or they was jealous of you. Or you didn't feel the need to do things for them just because they was your mother or they didn't fucking deserve it. Or this person is with the mother that let them do come in and out it do what they want because they have a they brain is on zero like they don't think deep enough that yeah you you teach your son to be a player but you know this is going to hurt women but you didn't think that you would catch karma for it you didn't think that's probably why you don't have a fucking man or nobody helping you with your lonely ass you thought magic was going to happen you probably didn't try to correct your son or your daughter but thought somewhere in the world was going to fix it. And that's why it's important that you do raise your kids to do right. Because you don't want the streets to fucking do it. It's like this person thought the streets or uh, what you've been through or who was going to do it? Who was going to correct the person you were dealing with? Or this, this damn karmic your person picked, this doormat. What you thought was going to happen while you steady letting them give, give them money or you steady going down or going out your way, I'm trying to say, for this person. So you thought your shit was going to get better? Now y'all both looking stupid and broke? You thought it was going to be a miracle? Not? Yo, you're not an energy vampire. Or whoever this king, queen of cups is, it's not an energy vampire because they're a toxic impact. They letting the motherfucker do dumb shit. Yeah, somebody trolling you that need therapy, child. <laughs> they can't stand up for their motherfucking selves but and talk a lot of shit. Or think they know a lot of shit. This could be your sister or your auntie and they don't know shit. Yeah, I see you married. I see you got kids, but that's not the life I want to live. Yeah, and, we, and then this person probably don't even know. Yeah, we know your husband got another baby outside the marriage. Or we know you probably catching them STDs. You know, your ain't and uncle or great ain't. We know you been through some shit. We know why your hair is bald, bitch. You're stressed. Yeah, you trigger them. Whoever trolled them. So you can have the king of pentacles popped out that earth water sign that is not a, a energy vampire, but they're, they're not doing anything rare. You got these people that's not simps because they probably selfish, they shallow, and they triggered. So this could be people that's mad because um, they thought they were taken from you when you realize, when they realize, and you realize there's a lot more where they come from, but also... These people could be mad at you because they feel like they deserve to get shit from you. They probably thought that they was banking on you, you know, like you was a meal ticket. And you're not doing none of that. Now they have to look at their fucking self and be accountable. Childhood trauma, like you, some big ass kids around there thinking somebody owed them shit. So this is probably why you ain't say fuck you, get away from me. That's what this King of Pinnacle not doing. But anyway, boom. I'm not going to even say that's new love for you, but they came out of energy. The point is, so your person probably was coming around you, or whoever this woman was, mother figure, was coming around you acting like Billy Badass because they was around some, some weak ass people and they couldn't take how strong you was. Or they thought that <laughs> they head had got blown and they thought that they can, you know that saying they say, where they do that at? <laughs> You knew where the fuck they did that at. You knew how to direct the bitch how to go back. 
They don't do that shit over here. But I can show you where they do that shit. So you can go over there. So you let this person, so this person was coming towards you like they was more than what the fuck they were. And that they meant more to you than you they thought they did. And this could even be your mother. Yeah, you my mama, but I don't owe you shit. Or I don't respect you. You can get these hands too. No, fuck you. Anyway. It's one thing to be a parent, because those are actions. But anybody could be a mom or a dad, that's a title. You want to be a parent. That's why some of y'all don't love y'all parents or uh, this person that sin regret. That thought a miracle was just going to happen. Like uh, them fucking with you and teaming up against you. That things were going to get better between what? Because the only reason why your person is fucking with you. Because they want to be with you. Or maybe with this eight of cups they found out the truth. Or they went looking for it and found it. Now they in regret. Looking stupid. This comment looks so stupid. Or whoever this woman is, let it resonate. Flirt. Extend your light and energy to others. You're not calling in no soulmate. They came in reverse. But if you flirt, you'll call in a new one. It's safe for you to love, of course. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world and start that flirting. Yes, honey. You probably got your schedule changed, or you got more money, or you got a new car, or a better car, or the car fix, or whatever you had that was... You were struggling and you're over it with that ten of wands, honey, honey. Now you probably have time or maybe you didn't even think that you need to be available if you're single or just to get out there. You don't have to go look for nobody, but it's going to come to you. But it ain't going to come with you doing the same shit like staying in the house. And I ain't the one to talk. I need to, well, I know why I've been staying in the house. Yeah. Codependence. That's why you're not calling in this soulmate. This could be their mama. She's a piece of shit. And now she in regret about it. <laughs> or this person they with. Your person probably was helping with the bills over there and they got too secure with the shit. Now your person in anxiety and ready to go on. They found out the truth that your person went back to the dummy, to the easy shit. They knew where to go with that bullshit. Give your relationship a chance. It's safe for you to love. Work on your partnership. That's what you need to do. You need to get your ass out there. So this car dependent fucker. You have addictions and stuff as well, right? That's why soulmate came in reverse. But they want a free retreat and disconnect. They still want to get with you. That's why they're getting anxiety. Give your relationship a chance. I'm going across. I'm reading across. Yes. Forgive and learn came in reverse. <laughs> uh, that could be that king, queen of... Uh, Queen of Cups in reverse that wants to retreat and they've been flirting. Let's keep it going. 
Maybe you have some codependency going on with some drugs and shit or smoking. You need to stop. So you call your soulmate. Maybe that's why it's in reverse. But you a new soulmate. Um, release your ex, huh? That's your ass. You have some codependence. Could be shopping. Could be you sitting on the couch watching TV all fucking day. Doing the same devilish ass thing. Remember? The devil, demonic shit is when you keep doing the same thing and expecting a different result. Or maybe you need to go different places, right? So you can meet different kinds of people. Can't keep going to the hood or the hole in the wall. I'm not saying you are. I'm just making fun of you. Let's get this shit popping. But if you are, cut that shit out. <laughs> Attraction in reverse. Yes, you're not attracted to your ex or your ex. It's safe for you, love. Give your relationship a chance. And attraction is in reverse. So this could be your person wanting to release their ex. You release them because this or this mother, yeah. Because there's no attraction. You know they're attracted to you. So they want to release their ex. But they have to learn to forgive and learn. Maybe because these drug addictions is really childhood coping mechanisms. It's time to disconnect from the world. They need to separate to elevate. Let's pull one more. Peace. Pay attention to the red flags. Yep, when you out there flirting and doing your thing, okay? Let's see about this love. Doesn't sound too exciting. Ready to eat and take my ass to sleep. Just gotta work. I am tired. But y'all mean a lot to me. And don't you forget to like and subscribe. And don't you forget to let me know if you want a reading. I do appreciate. Appreciate. I do appreciate the people that have liked and subscribed. And the ones that's been down with me. And the one that likes my channel. I appreciate y'all comments. I hope I do brighten y'all day. Because y'all do brighten mine too. So don't get it twisted. Boo. Don't get it twisted. We got this shit around here. I can't make a decision. Wow, but they too they too comfortable where they are. They too comfortable being that roach and rat. I am better with my mind than my heart. No, you're not. You're not good with your mind or your heart. Look at you. like a goddamn fool, son. Daughter, you're looking like a goddamn fool. Huh? You're not good with your mind or your heart. I'm good at playing people and joking around. I'm not good. This person's so uh, good, uh, want to. I don't know. It's like, how can they go purposely to the weak to manipulate? So how can they feel like they have a they smart. Or how can, they don't feel that way. They can't. That's why they feel insecure dealing with you. Because you have nothing wrong going on with you. That wouldn't, that someone that have their shit together wouldn't hop on it. I wish I could be a different person. Yeah, they can't make a decision about doing the right thing. They can't make a decision because they too down the rabbit hole. They can't get out of it. They probably can't get out of that child support. They probably don't know how to save for a car or to put the inspection on insurance. They don't want responsibility. So when this person got with you, they seen you have responsibility and you take care of yourself. They thought they could just come and suck and fuck. Like you was running a whole house. Like you had a trap or some shit. Now, you cherished your home. 
Maybe when this person got with you, you didn't even have your house all together. And then when you kept elevating and doing more shit, I'm like, oh, okay, this motherfucker is serious. I can't dump my ashes on her flow. I can't just uh, leave the toilet seat up. Or, you know, she was thinking she can't let her kids come tear your shit up or lounge around looking cute with her hair done around the house and ain't going no fucking way. You want this bitch to get up and be productive. <laughs> I wish I could be like you. I bet you do, boo, but you can't make a decision. Man, shut the fuck up. This person's stupid. Low IQ. Especially if they thought you was dumb, probably was doing dumb shit in your face, didn't even know it was stupid. Or thought that they was leaving and telling you an excuse like you didn't know they was hiding something. Like, get out of here. Just get out. Just go. I'm scared of rejection. I bet you are. Of course. So that means your person over there with a motherfucker that look like, who let the dogs out? Who, <laughs> who let this dog out? I've been saying that in my head. Who let the dogs out? This person with a motherfucker that look like who let the dogs out. I don't give a damn if this they mama. She look like some motherfucker that you would see be like, girl, where this dog come from? I was hurt by you. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Chicken bomb bomb. Now we're even. Fuck it. What they say? Two titties in a bucket. But you thought you was going to keep hurting or trying to play with the collective and you wasn't going to get it back? At some point, you're a human, aren't you? You probably put up with enough shit. The volcano, remember? You erupt after a while. Motherfucker probably got punched, slapped, kicked down the stairs. <laughs> Whatever the fuck you did. <laughs> this person lucky that you didn't. If that's the case, let it resonate. If I could go back in time, I would use a different way to deal with who problems? Your problems? Our problems. No, your problems. What else we got out here, child? I'm blocked. Well, in life or uh, all on social media, you make that call, Sagittarius. You got damn right you're blocked. I can't express myself, but you, your mind is better than your heart. Man, go have several seats. Why this person over there with their thumb up their butt, picking their nose, and playing around manipulating people, because to me that's what the fuck it is. Wasting time when they could have been taking their time and doing it, th doing it themselves. I wouldn't give a fuck if this person decided to go work at a fast food or something of this nature, you know, because they, they come off like they got pride. But whatever they were doing with their money, spending it on beers or fucking it off on drugs to using it to get women, taking them on dates or this woman getting her hair and nails all done so she can do what? Go attract thugs? See how far that gets you. And that's where we at. This is where they do that shit. Where they do that shit at. Yeah, this person's in pain. Heartbroken. That was the that's what why they going around upset and fucking with people. They disorder. This was a waste of time and talent. Even in the bed, this person probably ain't even worth sleeping with. They probably really thought they were doing some shit. You like, man, look, don't break your back, bitch. <laughs> I ain't the one to take you to the hospital. Don't break your back up in here. That was a waste of your time and talent if you would have invested in this person. So what did you do? I'm sad you do. You stood in your truth. <laughs> you got some structure around this bitch. You intelligent. Heart over head over heart. That's what you did. This shit was painful to watch. It was you was going through grief. Yeah, you that pain made you step into leadership, even with this stupid ass mother you had. 
or Amy or whoever raised you or whoever's talking hot shit or whoever this person left you for. To me, they all stupid. You get it. You dig? Yeah, you was generous. This was a waste of time being generous to this motherfucker. They wanted some kind of leadership or they didn't realize you was a leader. Scorpio Taurus over there giving their money away, honey. And it was a waste of time. I told you it was a waste of whatever they was doing. And that's the truth, Ruth. You over there looking like Ruth. Don't matter what race you are. I mean, sex you are. In the Bible, Ruth. Working your ass off. Yeah, rebirth. That's what you was doing. You was moving with innocent. This person had a lack of commitment to any motherfucking thing. It was a maybe with everything in their life. That's why they was picking people they can go in and out their life. Or they was too attached to their mother. Or your mother was a, uh, in the maybe zone. They didn't. They couldn't stand up for their fucking self. They didn't know where the hell they belong. Yes, five, commit. You was traditional, religious, knowledge sharing. What did I say? That's what you were doing in your leadership. Being an example. You was fucking value. You was husky, wifey material. Why this bitch is out being generous to the wrong people. They probably was watching you, Scorpio Taurus Energy. They was out trying to, oh, okay, so remember when we said, I said blah, 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 when this person was out acting like they should have their own, cha they own cha channel or something and they don't know shit? Yep, Scorpio Taurus. They was being generous, Scorpio Taurus, to the wrong people. Trying to teach them and trying to build a bob or uh, trying to potato head a hole, you know, put them together. Trying to build a bear and shit. <laughs> trying to put the fur back on it. Trust issues, disconnect, lack of accountability. Yeah, that's what came out in this relationship. So that could be the twin flame thing. This person didn't want to take a, they was having a lack of accountability. That was the communication with Gemini and there was no tradition. This bitch wanted to go on a, go on a journey with no map. Had to get Dora a goddamn another job. This fake ass Dora. This person was every fucking well wasting time and now they old as fuck. Huh, you was a good, not just mother or father, but a good business person with abundance. Maybe you did have trust issues or you was disconnected, but you detached from this shit and you went on to do better. Huh, <laughs> all about right. Lack of emotional control. Mm-hmm. Maybe you had lack of uh, emotional control. Maybe you was biased. Like either my way or the highway. <laughs> Maybe you told all these bitches secrets or you knew they secrets. So I hope that really helped you and let me know if it didn't boost so we can do a reading.